So these are the different types of cartilage. We have the hyaline cartilage. We have the fibrocartilage. Then we have the elastic cartilage. So what are the three types of cartilage again? We have hyaline. We have the fibrocartilage. Then the third is the elastic cartilage. So here, I want everyone to remember the description of the cytoplasm as well as the cells, and particularly the matrix. So the hyaline cartilage has the clear looking ground substance. Now, can anyone tell me what is the substance responsible for this ground glass or clear looking ground substance appearance of hyaline cartilage? This is because of the presence of glycose aminoglycans, such as hyaluronic acid. Okay, glycose aminoglycans, such as hyaluronic acid. Now, for the fibrocartilage, they are comprised of dense layered collagen fibers, which are more flattened and they're a little bit more organized than other types of cartilage. So as you can see here, densely layered collagen fibers, they are more flattened and they are arranged okay, in organized cell rows. Now, can you give me two types of fibrocartilage? What parts of the body would you encounter fibro fibrocartilage? In what part of the body would you encounter fibrocartilage? So one, it's the symphysis pubis, the symphysis pubis. Second, it's the intervertebral disc, okay? The intervertebral disc. So please remember that. Then the elastic cartilage has the visible elastic fibers, okay? Now, memorize this clinical crossover by heart. Glycose aminoglycans or GACs. Okay, glycose aminoglycans or GACs. Now, would anyone happen to know the other name of glycose aminoglycans, okay, particularly in biochemistry? What do we call, what's another name for the glycose aminoglycans? Okay, we have the famous muco polysaccharides. Okay, the mucopolysaccharides. So please, please remember that. I just want to share this infamous table from Harper's Biochemistry. Okay, so we have here the mucopolysaccharidosis. This is MPS1. This is the famous Hurler syndrome. Okay. Uh, it's Hurler Shea or Shea Hurler Shea syndrome. Most exams would just mention Hurlers. This is the enzyme deficient, which is alpha L iduronidase. And the specific glycose aminoglycans which are affected are dermatan as well as heparan sulfate. So the classic picture here is the mental retardation. There's corneal clouding and there's coarse facial features. And uh, they also present with cardiomegaly. Now the milder form, which is a X-linked disease is Hunter's syndrome. This is also known as moly, mo mucopolysaccharidosis type two. This is the enzyme deficient, which is iduronidate sulfatase. Now, even though Harper's biochemistry mentions there's mental retardation, if you read your pathology books, it says if there is mental retardation, it's going to be mild. And there is no corneal clouding. Okay, so please remember that by heart. 
So these are the only MPS I want you to memorize for your boards, MPS 1 and MPS 2, okay, 1 and 2. I'd like to share this with you. Okay. Uh, this is basically associated with the molecular types of cartilage. Okay. So type 1 cartilage. Here's the fibrocartilage as well as the tendons. Type 2. Okay. This is now hyaline cartilage. Type four collagen, okay. This is the basal lamina, particularly uh, the glomerular basement membrane. Type five collagen, this is located in the placenta. Type seven is at the dermal epidermal junction, similar to that of type five, so five and seven can go together. So please remember this. I want to share this with you. You've probably seen this before. The clinical crossover, this is your guru guide. So type one collagen uh, is found in the bone. The last three letters of bone is one. Disease entities, osteogenesis imperfecta. Type two, this is cartilage. Type 3, the blood vessel has three layers. This is associated with Ehlers Danlos syndrome. Type 4 is the basement membrane. This is seen in Alport syndrome. Okay, so don't forget Alport syndrome presents with the deafness as well as the nephritis. Okay, deafness and nephritis. Okay, deafness and nephritis. So please remember this, okay? Now here, I just wanna share this. This is from Harper's Biochemistry. Nandito si osteogenesis imperfecta. This is the gene mutation, FGFR3. And it involves mutations, okay? That's for osteogenesis imperfecta, that's collagen one. I stand corrected. The mutation in the gene for achondroplasia. This is the FG, F3. Dwarfism, of course, is growth hormone deficiency. Rickets, of course, is vitamin D deficiency in children, while osteomalacia is vitamin D deficiency in adults. So this is the last slide. I want you to go over this. So I'll give you a minute to digest this.